If you've studied basic arithmetic, then you've made it to about the Egyptians in 500 BC. If you have understood the quadratic equation, then that is the Babylonians, 500 BC. If you've done geometry, then you know, you're really roughly around 300 BC or so uh, with Euclid and all those other guys. Got your basic algebra down? That puts you at al me in 800 AD. If you've gone as far as calculus, then that puts you in the 1600s with Newton and Leibniz. If you made it to differential equations, you made it as far as as, say, Picard in the 1800s. Now, if you've gone through an undergrad degree in mathematics, then you've probably made it about as far as the 1920s. Uh, that is really at the cusp where we started learning measure theory, getting abstract algebra down, and if you've got a master's degree in mathematics, then you're probably sitting somewhere around the 1980s. Now, if you're studying for a PhD in mathematics, well, sometimes in my PhD classes, I include what I discovered last week. 